Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be um, helping you set up your your apps and the Mobix apps that we have available for you to use to make call to your customers. First thing you need to do is um, download the apps. The name of the app is called Mobix, M O B Y X. Um, you can come to globalvarsdirect.com, click on the app link, scroll down. We have three versions of the apps we have the desktop application that you can use to make call using your Mac or in Windows system. Of course, here it says Mobix. This is the icon. This is what you will see after you put the password for the app. And that's the way that the app functions. So let's log in to your phone system and we'll get the password for you and help you navigate the, uh, your extension. You should have your password already emailed to you and the welcome email. If you don't remember your password, go ahead and click on Forgot Password link. Or you can simply, um, we have the, you can chat with us and someone will be able to assist you on the chat line. Now, I'll go ahead and put my password. Here, this is the screen you should see. The phone system is uploading for you. The first screen you see is the inbox. This is where your inbound calls come in. Outbound calls, extensions, tools, and settings. Of course, if you need any help or help um, support, is always available. I'll, today we're going to be working with extensions. I'll click on extension. Here we have extensions, depart, department extension, and of, we, of course we have three categories of extensions. You could decide to work with any one of those extensions. I'll go ahead and start working with extension zero for now. The rest is about the same, so this will be a good training for you. Hit edit. There you will see the department extensions and the options are available for you. We're going to move our mouse to the left and click on ring in and out. And the caller ID section, this is the phone number that was assigned on this account. Your number will be different. And this, this is the code that you can use to scan after you download the app, which you don't have to put a password. You could just scan this code and it will do just the same thing as putting the password. So you do have two options. So the login is what you will put in and the password and the login field and the password you could click as I just clicked on the password so you can see the password that's there for you 